Welcome to Draw and Design. In this video, we are going to install reinforcements in retaining wall using Naviate Repair re extension. So stay with us and watch the full video and please subscribe to my channel. Let's get back to the video. This type of retaining wall can be found in the family section of Revit. So first of all, we will select the retaining wall, then go to Naviate Rebar extension and click on retaining walls. This will open up the reinforcement of retaining walls. First of all, let's look up to, to the geometry of retaining wall. This is the common information for this type of retaining wall. For the footing and for the cross section of retaining wall, all the informations are available. And for the shelf geometry, all the information about the shelves are also given. This cannot be changed from this section. If you want to change the dimensions and settings for the shelf and retaining wall, you can go to edit type section and in here you can change all the settings. These are available settings for uh, the retaining wall, for the height, for the shelves and foundations, footings, angles, everything are available. Now get back to the rabbit. Now go to the main rebars. For the main reinforcement, main reinforcement in the retaining wall are the vertical reinforcement bars. For the reinforcement shape, three type of shapes are available. So we are using the first type of reinforcement. But if you want to use the other types, you can just select the type of reinforcement from the list. So we are going to select this type of reinforcement. For the covers, we can select the uh, exterior, interior, anything from the list and you can uh, change the cover settings in the reinforcement section. Now we have to look the colors of reinforcement. The colors of reinforcement shown in the image are also shown with the dots in this area. For the blue line, the, the diameter and the spacing and lengths are available in the blue dot area. For the green one is this green area and for the red one is the in this middle area. For the bar number one, let's select, uh, this is the blue bar, which is the outside, outer side of retaining wall. Let's select, let's keep the number four dia. And for the spacing, let's select seven inches. For the L11, L11 is basically the length of hook on the bottom. Let's keep this 5 feet and on the top you can see the U, reverse U shape. This is the distance bar and for the distance bar if you don't want to use you just uncheck the distance bar and if you want to use check it and you can write the coefficient. The coefficient L4, L4 is the coefficient which means the le length of leg. The length of leg, here we are keeping 100 into dia. The dia is basically the diameter of the main bar. In this case, we have 400. Now move to the bar number 2. The bar number 2 is the top bar of the foundation or the footing of re retaining wall. Let's make it number 5 and for the spacing let's match it to the bar number 1 which is 7 inches and for the bar number 3 which is the inner side of retaining wall 
let's make it six number six rebar with the same spacing seven inches and for the l31 which is the length of leg let's make it five feet now the main bars positions and diameters are set now move to the distribution bars reinforcement bars for the reinforcement on the left side of retaining wall this side wall left side all three types of reinforcements are given and for the reinforcement on right side including the key and shelves are given on the right side and for the colors which are matching to these dots for the left side blue dots are available and for the right side blue dots are also available let's keep this setting uh, number four dia bars with the spacing of six inches uh, s1 s2 3 4 and so on uh, can be found in this area the spacing s s nominates the spacing the spacing of the distribution bars s4 is basically the spacing of distributions bar in the shelves s3 for the uh, top distance bar s1 and s2 for inner and outer side of retaining wall s5 for the foundation or footing and s6 for the key let's keep this diameters and spacings and move to the shelves and keys for the shelves and keys uh, we have two types of reinforcement in the shelves we can use the u-shape rebar or we can use a straight rebar let's use the u-shape rebar and for the diameter let's make it number three with eight inches spacing and for the key reinforcement which is shown in the blue blue dot let's make it number five we have only one shape available for the key let's make it seven inches now we have set all the rebars as per our desired section now click on ok this will generate the reinforcements in the retaining wall in this video we are going to make the schedule also so as you can see we have all the reinforcements this is the distance bar the shelf bars this is the shelf bar number two shelf bar number three we have the key reinforcements we have the foundation top bar and we have the legs for this reinforcement also the distribution rebars are also applied in the 3d area let's go to wireframe and you can see the reinforcements are given now quickly select the reinforcement one by one and write the name of schedule mark and partition now first of all we will select the key ring we will write in the partition key and for the schedule mark we will write ring for the reinforcement of footing let's select this one and we will write in the partition we will write footing and for the schedule mark we will write top rebar for the this step 
this outer side rebar let's select this one let's write wall in the partition and let's write outer rebar in the schedule mark for this side let's write wall in the partition and inner rebar in the schedule mark for the keys for the shelves let's select all three rebars and let's write shelves and main bars or the top bars in the schedule mark and for the u shape rebar let's write wall top and for the schedule mark let's write distance rebar now we have changed the schedule marks and partitions for the main reinforcement and so on we can change the names and partitions for the distribution bars now go to view and in the schedule section click on schedules or quantities now go to find the schedule of structural rebars this one let's type the name of rebar schedule of retaining wall let's click on ok first of all we will need the partition you can double click on the item or you can click and just click add parameters <coughs> let's add schedule mark now add bar diameter let's add the spacing now we will add the parts of rebar a b c d g and j these are the common rebar parts now we will add the bar length then we will add quantities of bar and then the total bar length and for the unit length unit weight let's make a new parameter the name of parameter will be unit mass let's check the type for the discipline let's select structural for the parameter type we will add mass per unit length and click on ok now we need to add the total weight so the total weight will be total bar length and the product of total bar length and unit mass let's click add calculated parameter and for the name we will add total mass and for the discipline let's select structural and for the type let's select mass in the formula section click on these three dot button first of all double click on total bar length then add a multiplication sign 
again click on this button and double click on unit mass this will add the formula then click on ok and in the last we need to add the image of the rebar now click on ok and as you can see we have the schedule of rebar for the bars which we have added these schedule mark and partition are shown in the top side and all the remaining bars which are not nominated are shown in the next area the distribution length distribution bar length is same for all the rebars later on if we export this schedule in the excel we can sum up the number of rebars and we can just add one row for this type of reinforcement or else we can use the sorting and grouping tool and sort by diameter and so on I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or queries you can ask in the comment section please do comments on this video subscribe to my channel and share the video see you in the next one bye